So you've decided to buy a house. Great. My name's Jeremy James and I'm with Lifestyle Real Estate. Welcome to our six part series on home buying here in Central Kentucky. So you've chosen your realtor, hopefully me. You've chosen a loan officer who's gonna actually get you pre-approved and see you all the way through till closing. Phenomenal. And they've gotten you pre-approved. Awesome. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is figure out what in the world you are after in your home. So as we go through this, some of the things that I like to do, one of the questions, big questions I like to ask is, what does that look like to you? So I have clients who tell me, I need to have a lot of space between me and my neighbors. And my next question is, what does that look like to you? Because I've had folks come from Iowa coming in and space between their neighbors could be 20 minutes down the road between their next neighbor. But then I've also had folks come in from New York, space between their neighbors means that they grew up on a tenth of an acre lot and they'd like a half acre of land, just something where they're not reaching into each other's windows, right? So I'm gonna ask you, what does that look like to you with a lot of these characteristics, a lot of these things that you're dreaming of? Because I know you're swiping through those apps and those websites and everything else, looking at all the properties that are out there. Great, do just that. That's like, when I grew up, we looked through the, the Sears catalog or the Toys R Us catalog at Christmas time. We were always going through there, finding out all the great stuff that we wanted, right? A lot of it's not gonna work for you, some of it is. What we're after is the stuff that's going to. So keep in mind, how many bedrooms do you need? How much space do you need within that house? Do you need that extra office space? Do you need space for multifamily? Are you got in-laws moving in with you or the kids moving in with you? Do you need business space that you can run your office out of or a local business or something along those lines? All that has to come into play. We need to know all those things and discuss that because all that is gonna play into what your property looks like. And then we have to fit that within your budget range. So a couple of things that we decide right away. What are your needs versus what are your wants? That's a key distinction. Do you need four bedrooms or do you want four bedrooms and maybe an office space could work? Do you need 10 acres or do you really just need three usable acres? So a lot of that kind of stuff is what we work on in deciding that needs versus the wants, okay? So really start paring that down and we're gonna figure those things out in our interviews and as I begin uh, talking with you more about your property. The next thing I want to talk about is the must-haves versus the must-not-haves. So if you don't want, cannot have a swimming pool, whether above ground or in ground, let me know that. If, it, if that is a deal breaker galore, let me know. If a certain subdivision, a certain neighborhood is a deal breaker for you, let me know. Those are the cannot-haves. If it's certain must-haves, whether you want and necessary for me, like a guy like this, that's a chef, if you've got to have that gas range or you've got to have updated kitchen you don't want to spend time updating in a house then those are the things we need to talk about what are your must-haves and your must-not-haves let's figure those things out right away and again that question is going to keep coming back what does that look like to you what does that look like to you and let you describe that to me because as we begin to pare that down we're going to begin to sift through all those houses that are out there and be able to find the one that's right for you. It's also going to allow us, especially in low inventory markets, to not just jump at anything that shows up on the market. When you have your set list, that criteria of those five or six different items that are your key criteria, that's gonna help cut through all the junk and remove all the stuff that may be popping up. In low inventory environments, then what we tend to see is we like to jump at every single thing that comes on because we're excited, something else is showing up. If you keep your criteria in mind, you're gonna be able to look through and say, nope, 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 no sense going out and seeing any of it. In a high inventory market, where we've got tons of houses out there, we're gonna be able to cut through the same thing and be able to say, I'm not interested in, in 10 of these, but I'm interested in six of these. All because we've done a good job figuring out exactly what you want before we go out. Now, can that change as we go? You betcha. I've started out with lists with my clients before, have my six, seven things on a list. We go out four or five houses in, looking at different neighborhoods. All of a sudden that stuff starts to shift. All of a sudden now we don't need the primary bedroom on the first floor. We don't necessarily want a ranch. We are definitely wanting open concept or Definitely not wanting open concept. Definitely not wanting a walkout basement. Definitely not wanting block or brick or whatever. Whatever that looks like. 
all that can change, and that's where that dialogue needs to happen uh, between you and me as we work ourselves through, so I can know a little bit more about really what you're into, so that when you get your house, you can literally hang that sign that says Dream Home right on the front door. I'm Jeremy James with Lifestyle Real Estate. We'll see you on the next episode.